Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com. This is not real. This is totally fake and on my phone. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the new app from Adobe called Adobe Arrow. You can download this for free in the App Store. I'll have it linked below. And you can see when you go in, what you first do is hit that little plus icon and you scan your surface around. And I'm gonna use my magic trackpad uh, right there as my surface. So I'm gonna move this and hit tap. And now you'll see when I move my phone around, that circle with the anchor point in it stays in the same spot no matter where I put my camera, which is super cool. Now, what can you do with this? Well, I'll show you something that you can use when you download the app. We're gonna hit the uh, starter assets and we're gonna put this little robo guy onto the trackpad, hit tap to place. And now you can see when I move my phone, we now have this little robo animation. And what's super cool is because he is in 3D, we can actually move around to any angle and see the top of his head or see the bottom. And you'll see the lighting actually changes a little bit, not the shadows too much, but we will see the light change as I say, hey Google, turn off desk lamp. And you will see the reflections on the bottom of him become darker and also on the top of his head. So this looks really cool. And then what's awesome is you can also animate. So we can tap on him, we can hit edit and then behaviors. So we'll hit trigger and then touch. So when I touch it, it will do an action and I will make him bounce. And you can set various bounce speeds here and you can do multiple objects at the same time. So we will hit the check there. And now when I press preview, I can record this. And when I tap, he's gonna bounce. And then he'll come right back. So there are a lot of various things that you can do with this. Hey Google, turn on desk lamp. And you can actually add multiple things. So now what I'm gonna do is add a license plate into this as well. And I'm gonna show you guys a super cool feature which I found on this. So we are going to hit Creative Cloud. You'll see I have this license plate file here. We're gonna hit open. This is from one of my previous YouTube series. And we're gonna make it float over the keyboard. So I'm gonna hit tap to place. And I'm gonna rotate this so that it's flat. And we will put it, whoops, let's rotate it again. Right there. And now you can see we have this license plate floating above the table. Now if I tap it and I use three fingers, I can move it up and down so I can make it flat on the table if I wanted to. And now there's no shadow under it, but I want it to float just a little bit. And tap again. And you will see now when I go over it, I can actually put my hand under that. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I can put my hand under it and you can see my fingers through the hole in the license plate file. Now this is a low res file that I have saved, that's why it doesn't look so good, but I'm gonna record this and show you guys on screen. So when I move over the license plate and then put my hand between the keyboard and the plate, you can see my fingers wiggling under it and it is amazing. I mean, you guys can watch right here on the screen. It is tracking so well, it's keeping that in place and we still have the little robot guy, even though he's not in the same frame. So right here we have just the license plate. We move over here, we have the robo guy, and then we can add even more photos to the wall and do a whole bunch of stuff. And this is super cool. So I'm gonna start messing around with this when I'm bored. Hopefully you guys do too. Let me know what awesome stuff you come up with. Send me an Instagram or leave a comment down below. I wanna see it, but I think this is an awesome app. It works super well. Let me know what phone you're using as well. This is the iPhone 11. It should work really well. I don't know how it is on older phones, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.